How to pass shit tests. Now, this is a topic that a lot of people have covered in the past, uh, and uh, you might think, what more can I add to the conversation? Um, I went through, and uh, a lot of the, the generalized information is uh, be unreactive, uh, give short answers, uh, know that the shit test doesn't mean that she's uh, telling you to go away or that the interaction's over or it's not a it's not a sign that she's telling you to, to leave and the, um, it's not a rejection immediately. This is some of the basic uh, information out there. Um, there's also some other people out there. One of my students actually asked me to do this. Uh, he was reading a blog post where the guy was saying that this was some form of a power play, um, almost like she's trying to uh, push dominance on top of you. Uh, I know there's a few guys that talk about frame uh, under these circumstances, but I'm going to add something new to the whole mix, which should simplify the whole thing for all of you. Um, and I think it's a little bit too complex. And I think they're... Um, uh, they're overcomplicating it, and I don't think it's as... Um, uh, yeah, they're just overcomplicating it. But before we kick it off, I'm Dave, and this channel is dedicated to giving you no BS novel, dating advice for modern men. Uh, top link in the description. I uh, coach Cold Approach. Uh, if you want to go get some Cold Approach coaching with myself, uh, I do recommend the seven-day immersion. Uh, what we do is we go out there and we pound the pavement. Uh, keep in mind, uh, the first, say, two or three days, we'll be doing 10, 12, 14-hour <laughs> days of just out there approaching, come back, approach, come back, uh, feedback, approach, 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 approach. Uh, and, and we just pound the pavement, put in the time and effort, and towards the end of the week, you really start to uh, see some results because I build such a solid foundation with the guys that... Um, they have no choice but to get results. Now the thing is, um, yeah, if you if you can't hack that, um, you're probably better off going to one of the other coaches that will give you some canned lines and send you back out there and take your money and waste your time. But uh, shit tests, let's cover shit tests. Now, the best way to really think about shit tests, as far as I'm concerned, is uh, you got to understand it from the woman's point of view. Women don't understand violence, okay? Women don't understand real dominance either. Uh, our version of uh, bu uh, uh, battling in the hierarchy of men is not the same as women. Uh, men battle for status and income and... Uh, we need uh, to battle amongst each other for uh, just through the hierarchy or the competence hierarchy of life, but women don't have to do that. So you've got to understand that what a shit test that comes from a woman is very much different from her point of view. So when she's giving, she's being super cheeky with you, if, an, if a guy's being cheeky with you like that, you see that as like almost like a challenge to your manhood almost like a power play, but from her point of view, it's not necessarily that, because women don't actually live in that world. So a lot of the coaches out there, they're giving you this power play, this frame battle, this shit test, which is a dominance sort of a thing, but it's coming from the point of view of the man, but it's not taking into account that women don't even live in that word world. They don't live in our world. <laughs> and so... What, ha from my point of view, so I'm in my early 40s, it was, it was funny, I left a comment on one of these uh, famous coaches out there, I doubt he's probably watching this video, uh, but I left a comment, I was like, uh, he, he made a video about uh, older men, you know, and I was like, hang on, young guy giving advice to older men, I'm like in my, mi I'm in my 40s, I'm about to hit my uh, mid 40s soon, and uh and he goes, I'm 32, lol. <laughs> Firstly, if you're going lol, uh, you're still a child. But he's 32. Uh, let's see how much game he has when he's 40. He's probably, he'll probably quit when he gets to my age. 
but the thing here is that um, these shit tests, sure, uh, being non-reactive is important, uh, and uh, short answers, sure, and yes, it is not a rejection. But the the the, the real uh, saving grace here, I would say, for a lot of you guys out there, would be to take it as her being playful and wanting to get to know you. Now, uh, the reason why I brought up the age thing is that as I've got a little bit older, when I, uh, if you're 32 and you uh, approach a 21 year old girl, boom, you, you're going, you're you're within her age range. Now, if you feel like you're a little bit too old, that's more um, a limiting belief within yourself more than anything. But if I approach a 21 year old girl, she's less likely to give me a shit test. She's less likely to want to be playful with me. It makes game a little bit more difficult. Um, those maybe girls slowly start to disappear when you hit your early 40s. That's why I decided to coach because I've got the, the knowledge base now uh, of being a younger guy and an older guy and I can uh, impart that on a lot of uh, my students. So what happens is, uh, this is the lesson for you guys, I'm not getting as many shit tests from cute girls in their early 20s anymore. So if you are getting shit tests, uh, this is kind of evidence that she's interested in you. Uh, she's challenging you. She she wants to be playful with you. And it's not really a dominance thing. It's not really a power play either. It's more that she wants to get to know you through uh, playful banter. And, um, you know, uh, women live in this kind of world, uh, a large, large percentage of the cute ones, the... The unattractive ones, and when they get a little bit older, they, they're not living in this world anymore. They have to get a real job or settle down with a man. But the girls that are in that playful, haha, life is fun type mode, and they're hot, and everybody wants to sleep with them, and they're partying all the time, uh, they, this cute guy comes over, and uh, he's kind of, you know, in her sort of uh, social, you know, she's hanging out with you you're hanging out with her or you cold approached her and she's like, oh, this guy's cute. There's a lot of cute guys out there. She wants someone maybe that she can have some uh, playful banter with. And um, if you can treat that shit test not as a rejection, more her wanting to be playful and be cheeky and you be cheeky back in return, then she's going to see you as more of a fun guy and be more likely to sleep with you. So hopefully all that makes sense. It's not a rejection. If anything, it's a it's an open uh, invitation for you to be playful with her um, and be cheeky back and poke uh, her and tease her back. It's an open op uh, invitation for you to spike and go spike, 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 tease, 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 and then slow it down a little bit later. Don't be one of those guys that just goes spike, 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 and then doesn't know how to stop and... Uh, become a little bit more grounded and then go for the pull. Uh, what you really should be doing is seeing that as a great opportunity. So, so when the guys out there are talking about shit tests being something where you need to be grounded, okay, watch out, the shit test's coming. Um, you know, uh, don't react too badly. <clears throat> They're coming from a a real weak sort of mentality where it's almost like they fear the shit test when it's the girl just wanting to be playful <laughs> she just wants to be playful um if she's making fun of you make fun of her back uh spike tease spike tease back uh so, and it's not a power play she's not trying to dominate you she just wants to play and if you're fun to be around uh, there's a very good chance that she's going to be sleeping with you at the end of the night. So uh, don't see it as a dominance thing because women don't live in our, uh, they don't have our mentality. They don't live in our world. Uh, women don't uh, get in, in uh, massive teams and build sky rise buildings and break their arms and fall off buildings trying to build those things. Women don't fight in wars. Uh, women don't, well, some do play in uh, team sports, but the most competitive ones are male-dominated. Uh, women, uh, women don't keep the lights on. 
<clears throat> women don't keep the economy running. Uh, these are things that men do, and we live in kind of the real world. And so when another man uh, talks to you like that, you see that as more of a dominance sort of a play, more of a, a challenge to your manhood, uh, your status within the uh, the tribe or, or the horde of men. Uh, but women don't live in that world, and you've got to understand that. So uh, when she's making fun of you, it's not an aggressive thing because very rarely women are out there fighting each other for dominance. Uh, they play this, uh, they play another emotional game amongst other women for for power within groups, um, and we don't play that game. So keep all of that in mind. <clears throat> um, so you got to understand that this is more just her wanting to be playful and don't don't overthink it so much these guys think over overthink this way too much uh if she's making fun of you for any way or for for anything um in any way shape or form see that as an opportunity to make fun of her back tease her back spike 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 look for isolation isolate uh, slow it down, become a little bit more calibrated, pull. It's not rocket science, guys. If you want some cold approach coaching with myself um, and you want actual results, uh, don't get me wrong, if you want to go around and just do a few fun approaches and take it easy, uh, let me know. Uh, but if you want serious results, you want to pound the pavement and build a solid foundation on what cold approach is, uh, fill out the form and uh, we'll pound the pavement and we'll, we'll put in 10, 12, 14 hour days until you get it. <laughs> I'll see you guys next video.